floods have been reported in some areas of the city, including Lai Yumun and Tai O. Water levels are expected to rise further tomorrow, according to the observatory. Here's Mason Mock again. Sea water poured into parts of Lei Yu Moon, with the water level at the flood prone village of Sam Ka Chun reaching ankle deep. This woman said the floods were severe, and she covered her furniture in plastic for protection. The observatory expects the water level in Lei Yu Moon to be around 1.5 meters higher than a normal tide level tomorrow. On the other side of Hong Kong, Cat Heng Street in Tai O was flooded. This resident is hoping that there will not be a storm surge, but the water level is expected to rise tomorrow morning. The authorities activated an emergency coordination center in Tai O to evacuate and rescue people if necessary. <laughs> There was heavy rain across Hong Kong, including Hang Fa Chun, which was battered by huge waves. An anti-flood gate was installed to prevent water from entering. The observatory warned about an increase in water levels in other parts of the city. The water level at Tolo Harbour will reach a high water level of around 6 metres above Chat Datum near midnight tonight, which is about 4 metres higher than the normal tide level. The maximum water level may reach a historical record. The worst hit areas include Sha Tin, Tai Po, Sha Tau Kok, Sai Kong, etc. There will be serious flooding. The flood depth in some areas may be more than one meter. There were around a dozen reports of fallen trees, including one on Chai Wan Road in Shao K Wan at around 3 p.m. A five-meter-tall tree was uprooted by strong winds and crashed onto a car. No one was injured. Maisie Mock, HKIBC.